Wolf and Luke on a Monday afternoon now, technically, by a minute. Joined up here by Cardinals tight end, Tip Ryman. Yes, Tip, sir. how's it going, man? Good, good. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Um, I'll just start off with the fact that now you've got, what, about a week or so of, of your first NFL training camp that you've experienced. I know the pads go on today, so it's a whole new level, but what's it been like for you so far? It's been good. You know, I heard some some stuff about, you know, what to expect, and so it's been what I expected to come into, you know, and um, it's there's definitely a lot of transitions left and right, you know, in, in how the game is played and what things Things are detailed versus, you know, collegiate activities. And so it's just it's a it's a transition like any rookie, but I've been enjoying it a lot. Okay, so here we go. Oh man, I could just the hair on the back of my neck is standing up because the pads go on today, Tip. Um where are you right now emotionally on this whole thing with the pads going on? Oh, this is this is where I feel like I can be more comfortable. Uh, I feel like I've I've got more more comfortability when the pads are on than than kind of trying to have more practice etiquette when they're off. So why do, you, why do you think that is, Tip? That's what I've been used to. Yeah, okay. that's how we practice at Illinois a lot. You know, is is a hard nosed deal. We're in pads a lot, and um, you're going, going, going. So, and then growing up, high school and everything, it was sure. You know, there were like the two a days and, yes. and it's full pads both times. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Stuff like that. I think I just have more experience with it. And so learning how to do both is important. But I, I think this is a comfortability level for me. We're talking to Tip Ryman. Tip, we talked to you. We've talked to you a couple of times now. But the first time we talked to you on the phone, we asked you about Isaiah Adams. And yeah. remember, your answer your, was one of the best answers. It was like, yeah, now we can go to the desert and smash guys together, right? <laughs> now, you you know, a week together through camp and just this experience, you guys are going to be rookies together. You're going to be playing preseason, regular games together. What's it been like having him here to have somebody that you already new from home oh it's super cool we were just talking on the bus going back um from the stadium to the the hotel yesterday and you know talking about putting everything into perspective and zooming out and so to have someone who you've had this relationship with for so long and you get to really talk deep about things that we've talked about in the locker room at illinois together you know and yeah. continuing the, those conversations is pretty cool and um you know he, he we think alike in a lot of ways and so we've been we've enjoyed this camp together yeah. So, Tip, ha have you seen the practice schedule? For today? Yeah, for today. Yeah. Have you seen it? Okay, uh, individual, are you guys going to be working against any outside linebackers today? One I didn't one? see the indie schedule. Okay, you didn't see the indie schedule. No, no. Okay. Um, you know what? I might follow you. I, <laughs> Wolf's going to be watching. I, I, think, so you know. <laughs> I think that's what I might do right there because I'm just wondering. Yeah, you know, of course, individual, maybe yeah. some tight ends working against the edge, some outside linebacker, maybe one-on-one, -on -one, things of that nature right, right. there. It, it might happen, right? It's a possibility, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, you know, by the way, I, I, that doesn't creep you out, right? Right, like you're not, no. you don't mind if I watch you. Not right? at all. Not okay, at all. right, exactly. <laughs> it's just because you know, to me, I, I want to be somewhere where the fur is flying. Right, an individual. Right, okay, and I don't know yet because I they don't give me the practice schedule. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never know what the practice schedule is, of course. So I want to know, you know, what group should I follow? I know. Yeah, I I honestly I don't know the indie schedule specifically. But okay. I, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, first flying right. Yes, <laughs> the fur is fine, no doubt about it. But it will be at some point yeah, if yeah, you guys go, you know, nine on seven, of course. Yeah. Or what do you what do you call nine on seven drill? What do I, you call? It? I think we just call it seven on seven. But if you count it, it's no really, nine yeah. on seven. I'm talking about the box drill. Oh, inside run, inside run. Yeah. That's what you call it. Yeah. Right? See how they change all the terminology? <laughs> uh, they're <laughs> trying to fake you out. Wolf. Yeah, you're no breaking the codes. It. But I hope we have a little bit of that, and I'm going to watch that closely. You bet. Uh, we're talking to Tip Ryman. Tip, I know you got your own hands full when you're out there, but have you noticed other guys that have stood out or have guys like kind of stepped in to, to kind of give you advice or anything yet? Oh, man, a lot of guys are, are really helpful here. Um, Trey's really helped me with, you know, he's been in the league a couple of years and done it at a high level. He's got little nuances left and right that, you know, he clues me in on in meetings and watching film, everything like that. Um, a lot of the old linemen are are very helpful. The quarterbacks are all good to me. So um, a lot of the wide receivers I've gotten close with over the off season, everything like that. And so, you know, everybody, everybody kind of pitches in really helpful. Everybody's got that team mentality. So better I am is the better they can be you yeah. know and vice versa so just to help the team win in that way so it, no one in particular has been like uh you know jumps off my mind but 
everyone's been great. You know, that's probably better. Tip, yeah. I got to tell you, man, yeah. um, you're moving really, really well for a dude who's 275 pounds. Thank you're you. moving very, very well right now. Your athleticism is something that. I undervalued, I underrated your athleticism and how well you've looked in drills right now. How do you think it's going for you in terms of catching the ball and running routes? Well, thank you. Um, I think it's been good. I think it's been good. I'm. It's tough when you have like sparring days and high days because like there's only there's you know there's less actual athletic competition time, but. It's a lot of that, you know, what do rookies struggle with? The mental side. There's a lot more yeah. time to just really hone in on the mental side. So I appreciate that too. But I feel good on the high days of being able to, you know, get open, use my body, use leverages and, um, and speed athleticism and going and making those catches. I feel good about all of that, but I appreciate that. <laughs> You you mentioned that you had already kind of talked to some of the receivers in the offseason. You guys had OTAs and everything in minicamp. I know Kyler took some guys out to L.A. too. Right. It, it, it feels like this group has done a good job of like it wasn't like, hey, day one when camp started last week. You guys have kind of all been interacting throughout the offseason. Yeah, it's 100 percent correct. Yeah. And going to L.A. was really, really big for, you know, that group and and. That we got to have that camaraderie, uh, kind of get the rhythm down of different routes and train together and just spend time together. And, um, you know, in OTAs and, and minicamp did the, did the same, but it was good. Off season cool. was well spent. Yeah. So the practice schedule today in regard to 11 on 11 team, mm -hmm. a lot of team. Have, have you looked at the script at all? Did they show you? This yeah, stuff, yeah. so you can you can actually hold the script. You can look at it. Say back when I played, they didn't want to show you any of that. <laughs> Everything was call it. Everything was yeah. You just well, they had it. They knew what they were going to run, but they didn't want you to see it. Oh yeah. So you can look at the place and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's really really cool. <laughs> I, I think the idea is just like there's a there's a call sheet on on game day, and you all you should know all the calls on okay. game day. So. Why not know them in the practice? Okay, too? that's kind of cool right there. So are there going to be a lot of runs in team? I think there's a lot of mix. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I look for the same thing. But I know, right. That's what I'm saying. I okay. think there's a lot of mix, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Very cool. <laughs> We're talking to Tip Ryman. Tip, I know it's still early in camp, but like, how, how ready are you for that first preseason game or first game? Like, just to actually get to go out there against another team now in the NFL, too. It's really enticing for me to think about that, but then I get, like, overwhelmed by all the stuff that has to happen in between. And so I just have to take it day by day or else yeah. I get overwhelmed. That's and fair. Yeah, I just I have to break it down and go moment by moment. Like right now is just talking with y'all and then I'll prep for practice. <laughs> and so I just Perfect. like just try to break it down for myself. OK, tip. So special teams wise. Yeah. Where, where do they got you? Where, where are you? Are you starting on any special teams? Um, so I've been working the most with um, like punt and KOR and field goal. OK, Um as kickoff right return, now. KOR, mm -hmm. kickoff return, mm -hmm. and punt. Where where do they got you on punt? The interior, on um, like guard spots. A guard spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Kickoff return. I saw that, man. I saw you out there working on kickoff return yesterday. Um, what do you think is going to happen with that right now? It's what, interesting. Just, you're, yeah, everyone's guessing what it's going to be like. What I, do you think? I think it's going to turn into, like, I think some teams might be just base stuff go, you know, 10 guys wide, go straight down the field, figure it out. Some guys are going to turn it into more offensive plays with twist schemes and almost like G schemes on offense. And, you know, it, no matter what, I think it's going to, it's going to build um, a bigger personnel on the field yeah. because of the close space, because it's more like two hands on less, uh, like less stick and knife type stuff, more you try to bully the person ahead of you. So I think bigger bodies are going to be there. I think it's going to be, it's definitely going to be more action packed than it's been for the NFL. So that's cool. That's one of the things that I've been thinking about, man, taking bigger dudes like tip and saying, you know what, you're going to be L3. You're going to be L3. So third guy down, all right, from the sideline, L1, L2, L3. And the L3 comes down the the numbers or the alley for the most part. And for me right there, I'm going to kick it to the left and let these big dudes go down, just absorb space and absorb. And I'm going to bring five and four from the other side behind an awful lot. That's what I would do as gunners almost because it's going to be hard to block those guys if you're trying to block them from the other side. 
It's going to be really interesting to yeah. see what they do. There's going to be strategy that is really going to be used on kickoff return that we haven't seen that in a long time. This yeah. is what Wolf's going to be watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Tip, I know you got um, practice coming up here, man, but thank you so much for the time. We thank you guys it. for having me. I appreciate y'all. Okay, bro. Thank appreciate you. you, man. Thank you. That's Tip Ryman joining us right there. Thanks for watching Wolf and Luke. Tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.